when you look at what you are doing with the internet every day in everyday life, you look up information, uh, you buy things, you study, and now imagine that this internet that we take for granted that it is there is no longer available in 50 years. Imagine a researcher over in 50 years time wanting to study our time and to see what we experience, how we live. Without having internet, that's completely impossible for me, the idea that you, you can't study. You can't study our life, our time without the internet. So we must preserve it. I think this is the biggest challenge ever for the archiving and information management community. If we don't preserve the web, uh, we'll have a significant gap in our knowledge and social history. We would not know how people have lived and communicated, how decisions were made. I think all this information, all those documents on the web are so important and they have to be preserved for, in order for our future generations to understand the 21st century. I'm Egyptian, I'm considering uh, the <coughs> web is a papyrus of nowadays. So actually, if, if we don't do that now, so we will lose all the new papyrus. <laughs> Yeah, the internet is very big. It's a, it's a very big um, sort of thing to wrap your head around. It's you can't ever say the technology is done, uh, the job of collecting is done. You can't say, uh, you know, it's January 1st, we're going to collect the internet today, um, and we've got it for this year. Uh, the content is changing, the technology and use is changing, um, so it requires an active effort. Thanks to the holes in Emmentaler, everyone in the world knows about Swiss cheese. Let's assume the whole cheese represents the whole of the Swiss web. So my goal is that Web Archive Switzerland will cover a significant part of the Swiss web and hopefully much, much more. All of the internet is at risk. Uh, all of the web could disappear when organizational priorities change, when governments change, when uh, culture changes. And so unless there's an active effort taken to record it uh, for the future, it could be forgotten. It's a problem for everybody, so everybody needs to help uh, solve the problem. The web should not be seen as the approach of a traditional library with things in boxes, because things are linked together. So we're more talking about a mass of interconnected data. Well, one of the challenges of thinking about web archiving is that we need to know about the information value of content uh, distributed on the web, and we also need to understand the technical composition. The recording of a nightingale, which was compiled and edited by the British Library Sand Archive in 1992, is what you hear in the background. We believe that this is the earliest instant in a web archive ever. For five centuries in France we've been collecting things. At the moment we collected them, we were not sure whether they had any value. I can really uh, imagine a situation where uh, someone would come in the library and say, hey, I want to get uh, the blog of my grandfather. So there is a part of personal research, personal digital memory in web archiving as well. There is an extremely central mission involved uh, in all the organizations in the IAPC. Uh, where we would lose this bit of our culture, we would lose this bit of news, we would lose this bit of anything if we were not taking care to preserve it. Um, and so there is a, a, a protector impulse uh, there which uh, creates a lot of satisfaction. Together, I think we have learned far more than any one organization could learn alone. Uh, we have come to view the IIPC as having a unique expertise that we can't find anywhere else because each of our organizations is at a different stage of archiving. Uh, it helps us teach each other, um, leverage each other's uh, ability to co collect things, to choose what should be collected. In some cases, it's uh, helped to provide uh, legal support uh, for archiving in different countries. The value of the IPC is the community. There's a, a community of people that are very much, that have a lot of skill on all their separate knowledge fields. And you need to work together to tackle this problem. I think important here is really the cooperation and there is no need for competition. 
That's why I think IIPC is such a great thing, because it allows us all involved in web archiving to share experiences, information, knowledge, and it helps us learn from each other, and that's just great.